Hey guys, I'm Ms. Kiga and welcome back to the Sandman and we left off with having a memo and um Well I just noticed something. Oh that's like the same memo as before but Yeah and it's begun um David a lot of us that Sandman stop time maybe he used this machine. Oh okay. So that machine. We'll probably have to use that like later on or something. Oh yeah. I have that thing was freaking weird or, or some shit. Um It won't open, it seems it's locked. I wonder if we can go- Oh, we can go back here. Let's go to the lift first. I know that you can't- It's putting on slightly. Remove the note. What does this note say? Oh, okay. Wait, David's here. Oh no, it's all about. Hey, Sylvia, pretty late. Why did you go ahead of me? You didn't say to take you to Sandman's house. So did you meet him? I did, but he chased me down. Then he tried to feed me some weird food. I was almost killed. Did he do something bad to him? I didn't do anything. He just chased me down with a, with a spoon. What's wrong with spoons? The Sandman digs out children's eyeballs with a spoon and eats them, doesn't he? Well, I... I bet he'll be mad if you see that. Who will eat that, he say? Huh? Why, my mom, my mom also told me- Look, Sophie. Mothers all around the world t tell some ridiculous straight face stories to get the noisy kids to sleep. Four fairies wouldn't exist without such wild imagination. Four salmon doesn't eat kids' eyes. He was probably just having a snack. First a spoon. No way. But after that, he tried to feed me this weird food. It seemed poison. I was so gross. Ah, you were right not to eat that. Fairy food is poison to humans. Man, why would he give you that stuff? He know he should know humans can't eat it. Well, anyway, while you're here, do what you want. Just be careful walking around the house. What do you mean? Dad taps about for reasons. Normal guests will have salmon guide them, but I guess you're not a normal guest. It's freaking chopped around the house. Yeah, thanks. I think I really need it by now. Alright. I can't read Simon's language. It's real. I can... Special language. He vented his own what's it? Most personalistic and logistic words things, I think. What the heck? I don't get it. He's a very smart guy, scientist, inventor, philosopher, maybe more. He deals and sleeps which requires various research. Me and the others understand him, but I guess he wouldn't. Tell me if you want to read anything. Oh! What? That's what are you? You're like the real David, but grosser. I'm not David you imagine, which may be a little different. But you like his kindness, don't you? Oh, okay. That's it? Okay, okay, I'm, um... Okay, I can see what you mean by traps. Am I too fast? God damn it. Uh, it seems like we can, um, pass that part. The trap part, um... I'll just save here, um, for now. Alright. Are you fucking kidding me?
Oh my god, that was so close. Jesus. Oh! A lever is currently up. Lower lever. Oh, there we go. Well, that part was easy. Oh god. Ow. Oh, what? I heard something. Hold on, are these clear gas walls? Huh. Okay. I see what you want, want me to do here. Man, I don't like this maze room. I wish I could mark my way somehow. Oh, so we can mark it. Alright, um, save it for, for now. What's this? A bottle of shiny weight liquid. Why not? Liquid itself is shiny. Hmm, I wonder if I could use it to mark a path to in the other room. Wait, can I? If I use it to leave a trail, it should be easier to find my way through. The bar is not empty. Yes! Alright, thank you. That makes things easier. Alright. Oh, but... It doesn't seem I can go on that stairs. Alright. We're getting somewhere. Um... There are nine stones... On the wall, they can be pushed like buttons. Aha! This is why I wrote this down! Um. Huh? It's open. Oh! What? Oh my god. N no Is he really chasing me again? What the shit? Oh my god. What the hell? Why are you doing this to me, game? Oh wow. <laughs> wow. He he fell. Uh, is he going to be okay? Well, who cares? Let's just go. <laughs> okay, I um. All right then. Holy shit. Please, no, let did no more be chasers. God damn it. Okay. Oh, Sophie. Hey, Dust, what's this room? This is where Sam and Dust work. He sprinkles sand and through those holes here. We help too. A mysterious machine. Well, Matt, it tells you where it's night right away, so Sam can sprinkle there. A hole. Huh. A hand mirror. The surface is slightly cracked. What's this mirror? It doesn't reflect me. Hey Dots, how do you use this thing? It's a mystical mirror, just think about where you want to go and you go whoosh right there. Wow, that's really useful. Why, thank you. A room of mirrors this time? Oh god. Ah, oh, I get it. It's, um, mirrored arrows. Hey Sophie, still wandering around? Lullaby, what are you doing here? Can I be where I want? I thought about tea with Simon, but he seems fussy. Really, he should take it easy since he's got no work. 
It's boring drinking tea alone, how about Sophie? No thanks, I don't want to drink tea looking at you. Wow, that's just mean. I know, you know, I know you're annoyed, but that's no reason to be so harsh. Wow, that's rude. Alright. A beautiful statue. A bucket of presumable water. A door plate, you can't read it. It's locked. What about left? Oh, I can't go through here. So, no, I can't go through there. There's some statue there. Oh, that's really useful. What? Oh, no one that gave me this bed. Um, entrance. Oh wait, wasn't this room where like the like this? Alright. Oh, there we go. God damn it. Alright. Thanks, phone. <laughs> I used my phone for that because, like, oh my god, I. It seems my memory memory is bad after all. Alright. The big sticks on the wall. Nothing. I got a sack. Oh. Well, one stick is popped against the shelf. Got a stick. Shelf. So there's nothing inside here. Okay. Footsteps. It's a Sandman. What do I do? Where can I hide? Oh! Hide in there! Alright, there we go. Are you serious? Oh wow. <sighs> he left? Good, he didn't see me. Hi there, sweetie. Hi there, sweetie. What? Was there someone there? What was that earlier? Was someone inside? God damn! What the f- <laughs> God damn that was freaking creepy ass. Mysterious machine. I from Simon in the closet earlier, and I think someone was in there. In the closet, maybe it was the boogeyman. Boogeyman? When the Simon goes to a human world, he makes a path under Kurt's bed. The boogeyman meanwhile uses closets. Wait, what? Girl, stupid. Oh, maybe we can make sure of the stick. What was it? But don't forget stones and glass houses. But it's a fairy house, and this isn't a stone. Hmm, it's still a house for her. Oh, forget it. Yeah! Got a glass shard. Oh, wow! Okay. Oh, there you go. Uh, bunch of paper. A memo, you can't read it. A shining blue team. A microscope. No what's uh what the hell? A mysterious machine. It has a long cord with a cup at the end. Another day can't wait, it's pretty out slightly. No, it's a note. No, it is two. A hole in the floor. Hello, boy. Oh, this notice was up on the opposite wall. Can you read it? 
Sure can. Put out the emerald flames of the youth. Put out the... Uh, oh wait, wait, wait. Put out the emerald flames of the youth. Okay. No, it is two. Blah, blah, can we move this face? Ah, oh, that's the from the dual harvesting room. It's how to use the suction machine. Put the suction cup on target's head and press button. Oh wait, what? You can't leave the room? Oh, open, why? What? The singing? It's coming from the statue. Is the statue singing? Huh? I feel weak. So, so sleepy. All of a sudden, why? Uh, is it the song? Ha have to do something or I'll fall asleep. Beautiful statue. Top of statue. Uh. Bang head. Yeah, ow. That hurt, but it woke me up a little. Uh. Oh, splash water. Go work me up a little. The bucket is empty. Uh, stuck. Yeah. Ow. Oh wait, a cell phone? Will the cell phone work? It's over. I'm too sleepy to move. Oh dear. I told you you should have given up. Lullaby. Please stop that song. Why? When you wanted to fall asleep, now you finally can. Yeah, but I don't want to sleep forever. Please, lullaby, help. Alright, oh, it's off. I feel, I feel bad seeing you so worn out. That's what you get for acting rashly. Enough. Enough. Why did this have to happen? After all that pulling up of being sleepless, you try to put me to sleep when I have to be awake? Please, lullaby, tell me how I can stop the Sandman. I've had enough of this. I just want a normal sleep. How should I know how to do that? Well, well, you tell them, Tom, to give up on pulling people to sleep forever. I can't do that. Sandman made me, so I can't defy him. So I just have to give up? Give up and sleep forever? Well, if anybody had a part to stop Sandman, I know who'd probably be. Who? Could I stop him? Leave the house and go east. There's a lake with pink trees along with it. That's where you'll find him. Wait, what kind of a person are they? Someone Sandman hates. The traps in this house are to keep him out. Oh, and he also also the one who exposed me to get... The one takes me to you back in the world, loves to get in the way of work he does. Be careful Sophie, it's up to you who to trust, but this little life has a thing for cute, cute girls like you. Be careful who you trust. C cute? Be careful who you trust. Now I hate that guy too, don't want to get involved in possible. Oh! Alright then. Let's go to the house. I mean, leave the house. Oh, be careful who you trust, huh? Oh, Sophie, you're late. I was waiting for you. Who the hell are you? Are you a freaking unicorn? And you are. Hey, you should know. I'm. Uni it's that obvious. I saw you back in my world. Did you want to bring me over here? Yep, that was the plan. I hated letting Salmon have his way. Plus, you're just so cute. Hey Sophie, give up. Working on something? Huh? Well, no. Well, anyone you like? Shut up! And if there is, it's none of your business. Ah, <laughs> tight lip. Are we? That's how girls always are. So I hear you want to stop Salmon. Oh, I know how that feels. He's such a detestable fellow. Can you tell me what I should do? You bet. 
But not for free, I want a favor too. A favor? Simon hides a lot of pretty jewels in his house. I've asked to see them again and again, but he's all never to the likes of you. Hmm. So I tried sticking in for a peek, but maybe this weird chap should keep me out. Oh, natural old coot, isn't he? So if you can show me one of those jewels, I'll give you something great and useful. How about it? So, so just bring a jewel here. Yep. Oh, but I want pink too. Not interested in any others. Alright, but... What if the salmon sees me and I can't bring it? Well then, I'll run you through my, with my horn. What? Hee <laughs> hee, I can't wait. Good luck, Sophie. A pink jewel? I don't remember seeing a pink jewel in, in the house. Oh god. Oh, maybe I need to go to the Samsung room and make it there. Yeah. Oh, pink tool. Wait, let me say first. Alright. Take it. Got a pink tool. This doesn't seem as pretty as other doors, it's not very shiny. Alright, then let's go to the entrance. That was surprisingly easy. What? <laughs> what? Um... What the hell? Take it. Got the pink too. Oh, okay, um... Something... Maybe I need to do something about it. Buckle for the... Um... Pink too. Come to it. Maybe I should wash it. What the? The the pink came off. Is it actually clear to it? Is it fake? I just want to do it. You can run me through. So wash this off. Maybe it sucks up the jewels in that room, so maybe I could take it to suck up jewel. Okay, press the button. A pretty pink tool. Got the pink tool. Awesome! Pink tool. Alright. And it's useless to get back to the entrance. Oh? Hold on, is this still yours, Sophie? Yeah, I made it, is that no good? Um, no, it's fine, but... Maybe I did something kinda bad. What? Eh? Oh, nothing, thanks. What the fuck, unicorn? Thanks, Sophie, I've been longing to see this. Here, you can have this. What's this weird color rock? It's a limbstone and has special powers. When you touch it, you you go all weak and limp. Great, isn't What's the good in this? How does this help me stop the Sandman? First of all, how am I supposed to hold it? Oh, you can ask Dorf about that. I'm sure he can make it into something you can use. Dorf? A very good at making things, I assume. You know him well. He lives in the cave west of Sandman's house. More open-minded than Sandman, so he should do it. I'll ask him. I I'll give him the stone and this bag for now. Wishing for good luck, Sophie. Hey, Unicorn, are you going to keep that tool? Huh? 
No, I just wanted to see, but if you need it, I'll give it back to you. Uh. Nah, that's alright, you can have it. I don't need it. I don't know anything about Zoro, just, just keep it. Really? I'm not giving it back later, you sure? Yeah, be the, that the one who wants, uh, has it. I'm not really interested in jewels and stuff yet. Hooray, thanks Sophie. Oh, that must be a decision. I'm going to make a different save file for this. That must be a decision to lead me up to, uh, good or bad endings. So now we go here. Is this where door flips? I can't see anything. Someone there? Um, I'm Sophie. Are you Dorf? Oi! That, that I am. Sophie, is it? Nice to see ya. Don't stand around. Come in. Oh, is it too dark for ya? Could you do me a favor, Sophie? What? There's glimmers on the plane nearby. Could you catch as many as you're in the cage? Cage? Should be a cage around here. Got it. There's a bird cage here. Is that it? Got the cage. Alright. Let's catch some. I love how they freaking scream. Oh, fairies being raped. I'm sorry, fairies. <laughs> you got all fairies. Easy. What the hell? Well. Door feed there. Yeah. Jesus. Ah, that is scary. Sorry for my ugly mug. Alright, come on then. It must be tired from walking. God damn it, Dolph. Hmm, limestone, is it? Now, where that unicorn get something that's valuable? Can you make it into something I can use? Not a problem, my girl. I'll start right away. Just take a seat. Get a nap if you want. Oh, you can't sleep, can you? Well, just sit then. Say, hey, Sophie. Not liking it. Much in the human world, are you? How do you know that? I just know it. Fairies know everything about humans. Yeah, that's no fun at all. Nothing goes my way. I just hate all of it. At school, and with my friend, and with my dad. And with the guy I like. David. Dave. So I think you should meet her too. As a guy, all I can really do is listen, maybe she'll be more willing to talk to you. A high school girl? I wonder, this can be difficult. The one to call me an old granny. Haha, <laughs> Sophie's not old enough to like you. She's a great honest kid. Oh really? Then I'll try using that ill nature to my advantage. But you come with me, I'll be nervous. Of course. Make sure you listen to her, alright? I feel bad how much she's got to deal with all by herself. Oh, I gotta go. You got a day off, right? Don't have to walk me home. I'm fine. Oh, are you coming over today? Yeah, I'll get out of work early. I'll get a bite to eat before I'm there. God, let's see you. I was stupid for getting all excited over his kindness. David's just kind to everybody. But he was the first person I really liked. Aww. Thinking that tomorrow will be more of the same, I started to fear the morning more and more. Until I feared going to sleep. Those lullabies lullaby, lullaby made. Is that really what I wanted to happen to them all? Was I really thinking such awful things? The other day, Unicorn got himself stuck in the mire. Had a big laugh about that, I did. And yeah, gotta allow yourself that. Doesn't make you a bad kid for thinking that, and no point worrying about being good anyway. So not gonna blame yourself for that sort of thing. Thanks. You're a nice dwarf. Well, that's just us fairies, we're friends to kids. Cause, of course, you're a little grown, but still a kid too. Oh? Yeah. So it's fine to give back at what peeps here. Just pointing out with it is what adults do. <sighs> it's wonderful. 
Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> it's just a wand. That it is. Swing this wand and it'll have the effect of the stone. Give me a hand for a sec, will you yet, Sophie? What pretty hands. Can't see them, but I'm sure your eyes are the same. That's how it was with your mom too. You're blind, Dwarf? Been staring into flames as I work all my life. Not that there's any trouble not seeing. Darkness doesn't bother me. Besides, we fairies are hard workers. Me, the two fairy, Nixie and Sandman too. Four calls sometimes to a fault. To a fault. Well, just look at me, I can't see. Two fairies' teeth are all rotten. Nixie's got the care for her skin always being in the water. My dad collapsed from overwork too. He got a hole in his stomach from stress. Worry for your hard work and dad, eh? You, you have to cheat, I'm right. He's the only dad you got, Sophie. Now go on. Want to stop salmon, is it? I'll be praying for you. Thank you, Dwarf. Got a wonderful wand. Very wonderful. <laughs> nice pun. I like it. God damn it, what unicorn seed really bothered me? Okay. Into the lock. Uh, Alright. Oh. It's a salmon. What? Well, what? What just happened? He seemed really mad. Wait, is it a unicorn? Where that hurt? What's wrong? You got a big lump on your head. I mean, not your horn. Sandman beat me up and he took the pink tool after I got it from you and everything. Wait, there wasn't a hole here before. There's a hole on the ground. You see a ladder. Name is Cyphers. Dollar Six. Wasn't here before. Something shining on the ground. Got the key to somewhere. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning underground to a symbol. So that's a key to somewhere. Maybe it's one of the locked doors. Two fairy Nixie, why are you two here? Hey Sophie, we were just sitting down to tea. Isn't the Sandman's house? Can you just come inside like that? Can you come and go as you please? Sandman's house is a place for everyone to gather. It's comfy and such a, such great tea too. Tea with a Nixie's ball, but Dorf's not here. Guess the, the tea's good enough so I can tell it when an old bottle over here. Say what, you toothless grandpa? Same to you, I don't want to drink tea with a coop. I just have done toys with no handsome men around. Hehe. <laughs> Hey, finally a smile, Sophie. That's cute like that, you know. Oh, really? Oh, yes. So much better than the irritated look you've had. Thanks. Fairy seem pretty busy with work, but from what I hear, you seem to be having fun. I'm kind of jealous. You bet it's fun. Well, it's in teeth, sure, but I don't mind it. Oh, yes, but I do visit the human world at times. But this world's a clear winner for fun. Well, how about staying here? How won't much have much fun if you go back, will you? Well, good luck to you to Sophie. We'll be here watching how things go. Hope it goes the way you want it. I don't know, man. I don't know. Is the somewhere key? Use the somewhere key. Also, goes here. Cyphers. This candle's too hard to carry. The cement mirror said, "Boil with red flame." But how can I get this flame over there? A button. This was in slot. 
got hide gloves. Oh, okay. What is it automatic? Oh no. What happened here? Help, help. What happened? The Satsi Fire can't move. Heavy, heavy. Do you use a stick? Just hold on a sec. I'll lift the statue with the stick. You'll be out soon. Got it? Okay, hurry, hurry. Yeah. I'm out, I'm out. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you. Are you hurt? I'm fine. Oh, you, Sophie. Lifesaver Sophie. I'll give you this good thing as thanks for helping me. What the? These are pretty big for glasses. Read, you can read. Read out and you can read anything. They're salmons, but Lifesaver Sophie can have them. Got translation lenses. Glasses that allow you to read anything. So can I read this memo? Wear glasses. How to make sleeping sand Pour critical fluid in a pot and boil with red flame Step 2. Grind up a snow of fluid and boil it along with the critical fluid Put a catalytic tail in the pot and boil Pour the finished broth into the sand making machine Press the switch and press the Okay <laughs> Look at freaking Sophie's glasses I love it Can I cut the tail with this glass shard? Got a cage of little tail. Alright. Oh, wait a second. I could take some liquid in this bottle. Sorry, guy, I'll just keep it a little. So sorry, did that hurt? Got a critical food. Oh, there we go. <laughs> wow, okay. Survival on salts on the wall. This is a snow floor? It seems to match with the description. Take a fruit. Got a snow floor of fruit. Put critical fluid in the pot. Yeah. Then what does the meal say? Thing. Just wear the gloves. These gloves are thick, so maybe I could carry the candle. Huh? Even the flame isn't hot at all. I can just carry the flame myself. Move the big flame to the stove. Alright, then you add snow snow food. Wait, what did the meal say? And boil it. Snow of food. I can grind up the snow of snow of food like this. Oh, okay, okay. Grind up. Yes. And then, snow of snow of food. And pot. Okay. Then you put the tail in it. Oh, so that's it? Oh, okay. Is it ready now? Pour the buff into this bowl, alright. Um what does it say? Enter in the sand making machine. Put the switch in press it. Oh there you go. Sam making machine. I just put what I've got in here. Put the both in. <coughs> and then button. Press it. A small power powder. It's a sleeping sand. Put the sleeping sand in the sack. Alright. So now we got sleeping sand.
Okay, I think I need to come here now. Wait, is that right? Or oh, was it the other one? After use, okay. Alright. Maybe I can carry the flame over there with these gloves. Got an immoral flame. So we go this way. Here? Oh, here! Whoa! Oh. Alright, let's go here. An incomplete landscape painting with paints. One of the paint colors is missing. A large telescopy thing. Look inside. It's a town, so you can see my world from here. Was the man watching all along? Oh, okay. A fine bit, but it's very dusty. Pink colors is missing. Oh, I'm so sleepy, I can't stand it. How many centuries have I gone without sleep? Once when the world was flat, when night fell all at one time, I could just work at night and sleep during the day. I was so pleased with my job then. But now the world is round, and night is everywhere. Night on the other side of wherever it is day. For a world where night is always falling and cannot sleep. If I sleep, then the humans will be sleepless. My only solace is seeing humans sleep soundly. But now even that I can't really appreciate, if only I could have some of that bliss sleep. I've had enough. I'm so exhausted. I can't help wanting to sleep. I'm in a mission to stop time. I'll stop the time in the human world and put them all to sleep. Forever, yes, but only for a little while. Only for a little while. I completed the internal sleeping sand. I stopped time and sprinkled it on the human world. Most humans fell asleep, but it seems not all. Those with unease, anger, sorrow. How sad to be unable to sleep. I will create a lullaby for their sake. For the eternal sleep they deserve, I'll clear up their grief. Humans have the right to be happy as they sleep. That meddling idiotic unicorn has brought a visitor to this world. Sophie Granla, the girl with a smile like a goddess of the sun. She too is one of the sleepless humans. Even my creation lullaby was ineffective. I must send her to sweet humans. That is my mission. Sandman. Oh god. Made it here, hello. Is that your little bite? What happened to. Oh. No need to be in that form anymore. Cause I'm just a lullaby, so I don't have any form. It seems like something happened with you, Sophie. You were glaring at me before, but now you have a much kinder look. Well, because you look like David. Do you hate me? Do you hate me how? Wow, that spelling error. No. I don't. What about David? How should I know? Lullaby. The Sandman was troubled and sleepless too, right? That's right. He's so serious, doesn't know how to take a break. That's what led us to the current situation. Oh, I feel so bad for him. How hard must that be? Sleepless for centuries because of humans. Fairies are hard workers. So the salmon couldn't sleep. He had to stay up and keep working? Lullaby. What do you think I should do? That's up to you, Sophie. No! I don't know what to do anymore. I don't want to sleep forever. But if I stop him, salmon can't sleep. He'll still be suffering. Listen, Sophie. 
didn't your mother always tell you? Do you want to do? I know what you want deep in your heart, but you have to realize it for yourself. What do you want? I I have to stop the salmon, but Salmon was in the long corridor earlier. Go meet him. Think it over, Sophie. Think about what you want. Oh, <sighs> okay. Data seven. And we're going to the long corridor. That's why it's here. There's a letter. Huh? I can read this without the glasses. Is this plain English? To my... I presume you are well. While we have put each other many times, unfortunately, it appear we have been unable to understand each other. I have appeared special sleepy sand for you surely. With this sand, even you will be able to slumber. I shall be waiting at the top of the castle. I hope you will not run away. The stairs are very old and full of holes. So please take care not to hurt yourself, my dear. Sandman. Sandman. Got the Sandman clearer. God damn. Oh, whoops. Um. Save. We're near the end. He just said what's up for holes. And what did I do? <laughs> Freaking hell. God damn it. Alright, end of the game is near here. Let's do this. Sandman. Oh, it's hard not being able to sleep, right? I understand, I've been suffering the same way. Really, I want to be- Really, I want to be put to sleep too. I wonder how good it would be to forget all the bad things and sleep. But, I don't want to sleep forever. I want to wake up, even if it might be a bad day. I'm sorry, I can't understand Sandman, but this is the only thing I can do. Oh, let's be safe here. Oh, piss A to swing! Oh, dope! I am so prepared about this. I am so bad at this. God damn it. Where is my kiting in League of Legends skills when I actually need it? Wait, can I just do this? Oh, what? Ten... Wait, what? Am I supposed to... Um... What? Salmon? Sophie... You killed Sandman? I killed him. I- I killed the Sandman. I killed the fairy. Why? Why did this happen? What should I have done? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry Sandman. Uh... No, that's not it. It's Sandman's fault. Because he put humans to sleep forever. Because he was so selfish. So I haven't done anything. I've done nothing wrong. It's always been like that. I did nothing wrong but put up with so much. That's what irritates me. Makes me sleepless. Yes. It's all dear for Will you go back to your world, Sophie? Lullaby. You've got my wishes, right? 
，我哋要玩。當前啊，先唔攞到白牙，發結聲你見到我啦。What？ 你兔夫係傻，你 stop up work， 佢話。Just ignore that that was up fairy. Do you want to see this view too? It's really quite beautiful. All those surfaced floors sleeping with such idiotic faces, and they'll never wake up, never. Sophie, damn you, look hot. <laughs> Feels truly wonderful. What did that makes my heart bound? Lullaby. The songs you sang wouldn't put put me to sleep. To take revenge, I have to do it myself. Yes, this is revenge. Revenge on those who took sleep from me. Why haven't you vanished, Lullaby? Simon's gone. I can't disappear until you sleep. Fool! I'll never sleep, and the night will never end. You grant my wishes, yes. I won't sleep anymore. The dawn will never come. No one will get in my way. Oh, you can put me to sleep. I don't mind. <laughs> I'll live forever in this world of night. This is a bad end. In place of those imbecile salmon, whose love of humans killed him. Bad end one, Queen of the Night. Hmm. I will. I really want a good end. I. It's interesting to see a bad end, but I want to see a good end. God damn it.